What's good? It's your boy Jay Styles representing that 361 that y'all already know. And I'm here to talk about my uh, Dick Dennis album, Get Ready to Drop. First of all, man, I want to say God bless those who didn't make it to 2016. There was a lot of young fallen soldiers that had, that didn't make it, that didn't get the crossover. We'll see you at the crossroads, man. Um, I want y'all to know that God don't make no mistakes, man. So uh, I'll be saying a prayer for all the families, for everyone who has passed and the people that have passed coming into the year. You know, um, it's been rough for people. I understand that, man. But, you know, that's life. And we just got to keep prayed up and keep it going, man. So I'll be saying prayers for those who have passed away, man. And let, just let it be known to anybody watching. God don't make no mistakes, man. First of all, I want to talk about my uh, Big Bitters album that's getting ready to drop. It'll be dropping pretty soon. I don't have an actual date on it, but it'll be coming soon. People ask why, what is taking me so long, man. Well, I had to go restructure the album because, like I told y'all before in the first video, my life was just not lining up with what I was talking about. So I'm getting ready to be 33 years old, damn near 40, and I don't want to be up there with no guns and drugs and hollering about I'm gangster and I'm this and that. Even though that's all right with y'all. If that's what y'all want to do, I understand that. I don't knock nobody. But that's just not me. I don't live that. So... How can, how can I sit up there and speak about, you know, on the block and doing this? And although I used to do this back in my, my prom, but nowadays, man, you get you get older and you get wiser. So I had to just, uh, uh, I had to just you know, get lined up with what I want, what my life was going about now, not what the world wanted me to do, not what everybody out there wanted me to do. So I changed my music up, man. We got new beats. I got some of the best um, uh, producers on this album, man. And we're going to hit it 100 miles an hour strong, man. We're looking for an album release party, and I'm trying to have a whole bunch of genres here, man. We're trying to have rock, pop, heavy metal, DJ battle. Like, we're trying to make this thing big, man. So, with y'all supporting, with y'all resharing this video, this is what I need, man. This is what we need. For any local artists out there, man, you know, I see a lot of y'all out there that are uh, pushing y'all's music, man. And just keep pushing, man. And anybody out there who support local music, us as artists, we need to get behind the person who looks like that they got it the best. And it's a bunch of them out there. But what I'm seeing, man, is a lot of people don't deal with certain people because of some he said, she said. All it takes is one click on that Facebook page that he said this or she said that, a little subliminal post, and things go sideways. I've seen groups break up. I've seen people fight. I've seen shootouts happen over a simple Facebook post. Leave that Facebook stuff alone, man, and just use it for your, use it to your advantage, man. Um, with that being said, man, if you see an artist that's coming out the city that looks like he's got potential, you need to get behind that artist. That's just the way it is. Because you figure if he makes it, then everybody else makes it. And that's just the way it is. I've always looked out for everybody, man. But it comes to a point in time, man, that it gets to the point to where people want to be the limelight. They don't want to be the person in the back. They don't want to be the one helping out. They don't want to, shall I say, they want to be the person on stage. They don't want to be the hype man. You know, everybody got roles. You got different roles that you got to play, man. I was a hype man for years, man. But we're not going to get all into that. We're working on this big, big business. Um, CD right, right here is getting ready to drop. I have 22 tracks coming off this, man. And out of 22 tracks, 20 of them are getting mixed and mastered right now. You're looking at 150 to $250 a pop. So you, you do the math on that. That's not including beats, and that's not including pressing up. So it's a lot of money that's invested into this album before we drop it. We just don't get some wrap it up and saran wrap it, just throw it on out there. Or put a put a name on there. Uh, this is my CD right here. Look me up on MySpace, www.facebook. No, we're doing it professionally, man. So I'm trying to press up. My first run will be 1,000 copies. I'm hoping that everybody is uh, with me. Video shoots will be coming. I got concepts. My videos won't be just regular videos, man. And it's not going to knock anybody else's videos. I'm just saying I'm trying to do something different. I'm trying to get out of the limelight and do something different. That's all I'm doing, man. I got love for every artist. There's no beef with me. I don't have no problem with nobody. I like everybody's music. You know, um, I listen to it to a certain extent. You know, and if you ask me for opinions, anybody will tell you. If you ask me for opinions, I'm going to tell you. I'm, I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I'm going to tell you what it is. So anybody looking for shows, I'm still charging for shows. That's a, that's a fact. So if your lineup's right and everything's good, we got a good crowd and the money's there, you can count me in, man. You know I, you know I do my part as promotion. So 2016, I plan to hit it hard. But when you see these, if you got a business out there, let me know so I can hang these up. If you got kids and you know somebody who's willing to pass these out for me, let them know so I can get everybody involved. But I appreciate it, man. You can download my albums online, iTunes, Amazon, Zoom, Spotify, uh, Web Music, Symphony Africa, all the type of websites you can download my music, man. So check me out, man. I got four CDs out already online. I got one on hand, the, the Dog in the Game, that I can deliver. I got that going for five. I probably got about 30, 30 copies left. I got to do a couple of drop-offs tonight. But I appreciate everybody who's been hanging with me. I appreciate everybody who's been in my inbox saying that I'm a positive person. The words that I have been saying have made their life change. Makes me feel good, man. I'm a child of God now, man, and I'm changing. And as you can see, you're either going to change or you're either going to roll with me or get rolled over. And that's just what it is, man. 361 is all love, baby.